Okay, this is the third lesson in the Title Deco Pro series of lessons that we got. And we look at the screen here, we have one layer that's already been created. Let's create a second layer here. This down here. Now the active layer is the one that always has the solid lines around it. The inactive one is the one with the dittos on here. So we want to call this something, we'll call this layer two. Now, if we decide to create a text field around these, we hit add text field here. And this has become the equivalent of a layer in itself. When we do this, this is another interesting way to work with this. And we can call this uh, layer three at this point. point. Um, now, the one that's highlighted is the one with which we're working. And say we want to change the uh, font on that, we can do that by going and pointing to that, and we just pick uh, Broadway there so that that looks good. We want to change the color on it. We go over here and left click, right. Uh, so he says that becomes the active one. Now, if we want to continue to type, what we've got to do is again make this little rascal appear, the enable move, and we point on that. That becomes visible. Now we can continue to point. Hit the space bar and say uh, continue. Continue on. Now, what you've got here is a whole field that, that again, if you hit this bar here and pull it up, you can see they all move with once you have this little gizmo here that's enable moving thing here. Now, one of the things a person can do to realize with what we're working, if we pull this around all three of those, it might give you a better idea of what we have here. See? Now, again, using the page up, now this is highlighted. Page down, page up, page down. Now this is the one that's highlighted right here, so that's the one that's being controlled by this here. Now, you've got in this one right here something different. You've got three lines here. Actually, these are the equivalent of kind of like three separate layers within a text field here. Because if you double-click behind this, the only thing you can really change is going to be this one line right here. For instance, if we go over here, left click, right, change in color. It didn't change all three of them. So how do we change all three of these combined? Well, there's a little trick here, and that's we've got to grab the entire text field because you see these, this ditto right here, it's only around one of them. It's not around all three of them. So if we go up here to edit, and uh, you'll see here, select field. And now that shifts control A. Click that. Now notice. And we got dittos all the way around this rascal here. And if you pull this down here, you can really see what we're talking about. See the dittos are all the way around that. So they're all together now. So that if we decided we're going to make a change, for instance, if we left click this green color over here and we see that changes all three of them simultaneously there, which is, is uh, important to know. It's like if you want to change also the font itself, you come over here and say, we say, hit this. So we change the font. Of course, these being smaller than the one we were using, it combined on two lines where we had it on three before. Kind of interesting. And again, you can grab them all like, like so mm -hmm. here. Um, this is the, the very important uh, shortcut. Again, let me point this out. If you go up to edit here, and you see here, select the entire field. That's what we use. Sele shift, Control, A to select this entire text field that we've got here. You can see you can move it around accordingly. Now, one of the things here that we need to understand too when we're working with multiple layers as such as what we have here that you can have one that's on top of the other. Now how do you 
change, let's say, uh, you know, you, you'd like to have the one that's behind there on uh, the, the, the one to move to the front. Well, there's a way to do that too. If you go up here to layer and it says bring to front, you know, that's alt and the plus sign. That's alt and the plus sign. And um, you send it to the back is, is alt and the minus sign. So let me, let's see how that works exactly. So we want to move this field where we can really see what we've got. And we want to move this to the back. Since this is the highlighted one, so we can to move that to the back by hitting Alt and the minus sign. So if we hit Alt and minus, that changes that to the back, like so. It brings it to the front, brings it to the back, brings it to the front, brings it to the back, brings it to the front, brings it to the back. See how that works? So you can highlight doing that. And it's a good control device that you have here in controlling your 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 layers there. Now, too, if we go up here and we take this look over here, and we decide, that, well, we're going to work with, say, frames, for instance. The default frame setting that comes around this green here, it's automatically blue. It's, it's never anything else. Now, you can change that to let's say left click here right but it doesn't do anything until you do what you're supposed to do put you since this is the, the um, uh, layer that we're working with remember we have to get the entire text field here we want to have to get all these components here simultaneously so if we go up here to edit and then we hit select field now, watch what happens. We, let's do it here with a red one. Okay, and then it's, there, it's got it. You've got the whole field, and it changes that simultaneously so that you can control all of the field in itself. And uh, this works with, uh, I'd say, the uh, edge as well. We're going to put an edge on there. Let's say, what edge do we want? That's a big yellow. Put that on there. Okay, we've got an edge on that. Kind of interesting what you can do here. And then if we add, uh, okay, let's uh, say frame. We want the frame on there. So let's pick red. Let's see here. I think we got red in there, so maybe we ought to go with a kind of orange color. Yeah, that kind of looks interesting. Yeah. Now you can change these. That this is listed as square. Let's change that to round, like so. And we can adjust the size of the height there. Going down. You can see how it changes going down. Let's just, just change it manually. Let's hit 60. Okay, there you go. So you can see, you can adjust these accordingly. So, okay, we'll continue on in the next lesson.